Hi everybody, my name is Leela and I'm a member of Engineering for All and this is the 8th video of Engineering for All's online workshop series. In today's video, students will learn about coronavirus. Engineering for All is a nonprofit that's focused on bringing engineering education to different elementary schoolers in the downtown San Jose area. For the past year, we've been offering different workshops and clubs at different schools in the city. But since the COVID-19 quarantine, we've had to move our operation online which is why we've been offering these online workshops. In today's workshop, students will learn about how the structure of the COVID-19 virus affects how it spreads among people. Um, they will learn this through the last activity in the workshop where they will get to create their own COVID-19 is a virus from the coronavirus family. It has a similar structure to many different existing forms of the coronavirus and shares many similarities with viral illnesses, such as the flu. Its structure is depicted as the picture right next to me. From this picture, we are able to view the different components of the virus and their function. The RNA enclosed in the protein is the material inside the virus that designates it to have the qualities of COVID-19. You can think of it as the equivalent to the DNA that is found in our bodies. The lipid membrane on the surface of the virus is what holds it together. It provides a space for the RNA to exist, exist and a surface for spike proteins to stick onto. These spike proteins are what allow the COVID-19 virus to attach to the human body and infect the person. As the body is being infected, the virus uses its spike proteins to latch onto the human's immune system, integrate the lipid membrane into the contents of the human body, and empty its RNA into the body's systems in order to replicate itself. This allows COVID-19 to spread rapidly and continue to infect various parts of the body. Since today's video is about COVID-19, we wanted to better understand the structure of the virus. Today, our team is going to be building a COVID-19 model, aka the body of the virus, to better understand how the virus works. So without further ado, let's get started. Before we begin, we have to understand how coronavirus is spread from one person to another. COVID-19 is typically spread by a person inhaling the droplets spread by an infected person through coughing or sneezing. By inhaling these virus-infected droplets, a person introduces the co coronavirus structure to their own body. After the viral structure is integrated into their system, the person will start to show symptoms of the disease, such as cough, fever, muscle aches, sore throat, etc. Through the development of these symptoms, this newly infected person has the ability to infect others. This cycle of infection, the integration of the virus, and the spreading of it is what allows the coronavirus to be so prevalent. Now that we understand the structure of COVID-19, let's make our model. To make this model, materials that you would need are styrofoam or cardboard, glue, toothpicks, wires, and tissue. The first step is to get a styrofoam ball and carve out about one fourth of the side and take out everything inside. Leave about an inch of material all the way around. Cut out smaller circles that are about an inch and put them on the sides of the cut out part. Cut out small sticks that are about an inch long and place them in between the circles. The circles should be in pairs. Now, get a smaller styrofoam ball and cut it in half. Stick a toothpick in the middle of the cut ball. Get wires that are about 40 inches long and cover it with tissues and then make it look like a spring. Cover that with the half ball. Make more of the half balls on toothpicks and stick them outside of the structures in the box. Put the spring inside the structure. And lastly, cover it all over with the half ball. When you're done, don't forget to color it. Understanding the structure of COVID-19 is essential for scientists, engineers, and doctors, since they will study the different ways to fight or kill this virus in human bodies. Specifically, by understanding the structure of the viral model, people can see how COVID-19 integrates into the human body to develop vaccines to stop the spread of this virus, create medicines to lessen the impacts of this virus, and in the future, to address and identify other kinds of coronaviruses. Throughout this video, you have used the same process that all engineers use to develop their ideas into everyday products. So the first step is to ask a question, which was, what is coronavirus? In brainstorming, we thought of and discussed what COVID-19 bacteriophage is. In prototyping, we made small parts of a viral model. In the design phase, we sketched and visualized how the whole COVID-19 bacteriophage will look from the data we gathered from the prototype. 
In the build, you actually build the model. In the testing phase, phase because this is a model, um, there isn't a traditional testing per se, but we can compare it to real life COVID-19 models and see how similar they are. And the last step of the design process that all engineers do is redesign and improve, which is to either improve or be, be satisfied with what we have. Thank you so much for watching our videos. Make sure to leave a like. Our social medias will be down below. Donate. Um, thank you. Bye. Um, make sure you subscribe to our channel. We make new videos every week. And if you would like to see more videos about engineering and understanding COVID-19, make sure to give this video a thumbs up. See you next week.